10 ways to tell if a chest pain is a serious emergency. Chest pains are one of the most uncomfortable symptoms to experience. They can occur in many forms and in varying degrees of severity. Some forms of chest pain feel like a burning or crushing sensation in your chest, while in some cases, the pain travels from your chest to the neck, the jaw, the arms, and even the back. Not all chest pains are life-threatening. Some of them only last for a short time and they dissipate without coming back. In such cases, you don't need to be worried. But on the other hand, chest pain is also one of the major symptoms of an imminent heart attack. So how can you tell when a chest pain requires immediate medical attention versus when it's just a temporary issue that'll go away on its own? In today's video, we'll be looking at 10 ways to tell if a chest pain is a serious emergency. Make sure you watch the video to the very end to get all the information you need. Number 10, sharp or dull pain. The nature of the chest pain is a good indicator to know whether you have an emergency situation on your hands. When you watch movies and you see people act out of a heart attack, they often clutch their chest and appear to be in a lot of pain. You will almost think that they have an invisible sword piercing through their heart. However, in reality, the chest pain associated with a heart attack is not described as sharp or intense. Rather, it feels like an unrelenting force or pressure on your chest. Imagine placing a 400 pound weight on your chest. That's exactly how the chest feels when a person is about to suffer a heart attack. If you ever feel that sort of pressure over your chest, immediately make an emergency health call. There are more intense chest pains that a person could suffer much sharper than the sensation you get when a heart attack is about to take place. For instance, if you feel a sharp, piercing pain in your chest, almost as if you have received an electric shock, this is often related to either a bone or nerve problem, maybe a cracked rib or pulled muscle. This type of pain usually fades away quickly. Number nine, the pain does not go away when you change position. If you ever feel any sort of pain in your chest, one thing you should attempt to do is change your body position. If you are lying down when the pain starts, try to sit up. If you're standing upright, try to bend over. Check if the pain dissipates. If it does, then you may not have an emergency on your hands. The pain could be due to a lung problem like asthma or pneumonia. However, if the pain does not reduce as you change position, or if it worsens, you have an emergency on your hands. You should immediately make a call for help. Chest pains leading to heart attacks do not reduce in intensity when you change your body's position. Instead, the tension in your chest will remain persistent and long-lasting. Number eight, tight squeezing sensation after an exercise. If you feel a strong squeezing or burning sensation across your chest after exercising or doing some strenuous activity, this is a call for concern as you might want to see the doctor immediately. It might be an indication of a health condition called angina. Angina has been described by many as the real definition of chest pain. It's the feeling of pressure and heaviness across the chest, much like it is when a person has a heart attack. Angina is indeed a heart-related condition, and it's often triggered after one has exerted themselves in some strenuous activity. Angina occurs when the blood supplies to these cells in the muscles of the heart is not enough to meet their energy needs. Classic angina involves the radiation of the pain across the chest, down the arm, to the neck, jaw, teeth, and back. In many ways, it resembles the kind of chest pain that is related to an impending heart attack, and this is why when it happens, immediate medical attention is required. Angina does not always lead to a heart attack, but it is a warning sign. It indicates that your heart is being starved of adequate blood supply and oxygen. If medical attention is not sought to remedy the condition, it could result in a heart attack or even myocardial infarction, where the muscles of the heart cease to function. When angina occurs, taking immediate rest can reduce the chest pain. What aggravates angina is when the heart is put under pressure to do more than it can handle. So when the body is put to rest, the chest pain subsides. Nevertheless, immediate medical attention is still required. Number seven, sharp pain at the center of the chest. If you experience a sharp pain right at the center of the chest that could also radiate to the neck and shoulders, this could be a cause for concern. If this happens when you're also experiencing low-grade fever and an increased heart rate, you could be suffering from pericarditis. Pericarditis is the inflammation of any layers of the pericardium. The pericardium is a thin tissue sac that surrounds the heart. Its inner layer envelops the entire heart 
and a fluid located in between its inner and outer layers prevents friction between the two layers. The outer layer, the parietal pericardium, is made of fibrous tissue. This condition could be caused by an infection, a heart surgery, trauma, tumors, cancer, autoimmune disease like lupus or scleroderma, or even a heart attack. The chest pain associated with pericarditis is frequent and sharp. It could be made worse when a person lies down, is swallowing food, or is coughing. Usually sitting forward can create some relief from the pain. Pericarditis can be treated, but once you notice any symptoms, ensure you call for help immediately. Number six, chest pain with jaw or throat pain. If you experience pain in your jaw alone or in your throat, it's not likely to be a life-threatening issue. It is normal to have some pain in your throat caused by a muscular issue or a cold. It could also be a sinus problem. However, if jaw pain or throat pain occurs alongside any pain or discomfort in the chest, then that might be a reason for concern. Having chest pain that spreads to the jaw and throat is a classic symptom of an impending heart attack. It's a no-brainer. You should immediately seek medical attention. This kind of chest pain usually begins at the center of the chest. It could be a sharp piercing pain, or it could just be a feeling of intense pressure on your chest. If you experience this kind of pain occasionally, and you also notice that you suddenly get fatigued when you carry out physical activity that you normally do with ease. For instance, if you notice that you become so tired so quickly after climbing a flight of stairs, you should get medical attention immediately. Unexplained tiredness or exhaustion with occasional chest pain and discomfort are sure signs of an imminent heart attack. To save the situation before you suffer a heart attack, see a doctor immediately. Number five, chest pain with nausea, indigestion, heartburn, and stomach pain. A combination of indigestion, heartburn, and stomach ache already points towards heart disease. If you've been experiencing these symptoms and then you also experience chest pain, you can't have a more obvious red flag. It's time to see a doctor and quickly too. Many people who have suffered heart attacks experienced these symptoms during the attack. If you have them along any chest pain, it is a clear indicator that a heart attack could occur soon. But don't panic. All you need to do is call for medical help. Number four, chest pain on the left side of the chest. Because your heart is located on the left side of your chest, any pain felt in this area could be ominous. It is unlikely that any pain on the right side of the chest will be related to a heart disease, except if you have a rare heart condition called dextrocardia. That said, chest pain from a heart attack is usually non-localized, as it spreads over the chest. And because of this, it's possible that any localized pain on your chest may be unrelated to a heart problem. If you touch the area where you feel the pain and it aggravates the pain, it is probably not a heart-related issue. Still, you should check it out. Actually, you should check it out immediately, especially if it's on the left side of your chest. Nerves on the left side of your body usually overlap, and so you might also experience some pain even on the left side of your neck and on your left arm. Number three, shortness of breath and cough with chest pain. If the chest pain is accompanied with shortness of breath, that can be a major indicator of an imminent heart issue. You should see a doctor quickly, and the doctor may have to conduct an examination on your lungs. Although a continuous cough is not a normal sign of heart trouble, but if you develop a cough alongside some chest pain, and you know that you are at risk of developing heart disease, then this is not a combination of symptoms that you want to overlook. A long-lasting cough that produces white or pink mucus could be a pointer to heart failure. The heart could fail when it can no longer keep up with the demands of the body. This can cause the blood to leak back into the lungs. Number two, chest pain and swollen feet. If you have symptoms of chest pain and at the same time you have swollen feet and ankles, these could point to a failing heart. You should definitely go for a medical checkup. Swollen feet and ankles are a major sign that your heart is not functioning properly. Essentially, the heart is not pumping blood around your body as effectively as it should. When the heart fails to pump blood fast enough to all areas of your body, the blood in the veins backs up in the body and this causes bloating in the feet and ankles. With time, the swelling could move to the legs too. Heart failure also makes it difficult for the kidney to function properly. The kidney fails to effectively remove excessive water and sodium from the body, and this adds to the bloating in specific areas of the body. Number one, chest pain with irregular heartbeat. It is normal for your heart to skip a beat or two, possibly when you are nervous or very excited. And when that happens, you can understand why it can be explained. However, if you notice that your heartbeat is out of sync for a few seconds, 
and this happens at the same time when you feel some chest pain, you should definitely speak to your doctor. Irregular heartbeat and chest pain could point to an imminent heart attack as well. The irregular heartbeat could also be due to a condition called atrial fibrillation, but you can't be sure until you are tested by a doctor. What is clear is that these symptoms should not be left unattended to. Many forms of chest pain did not point to serious issues. Many times they go away after a short period. But in some cases, they could point to serious heart conditions, especially when they happen simultaneously with other ominous symptoms. To be sure of your safety, anytime you are suspicious of any chest pain, simply call your doctor or dial the medical emergency hotline. It could save your life. Comment down below your thoughts Give this a like, share with your friends, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell to keep you updated for more interesting facts, tips, and ideas from Smartville.